Hi everyone, welcome to Grace Blossoms for You. And today we are making tiny little booklets. And I've seen these made before, but I don't think I've made them before. And it's not my idea. I got the idea from Pam at the Paper Outpost. And I warn you, they are so small. They are really easy to lose. And what's special about them is that they are an altered paper clip. So thank you, Pam, for this idea. And so I'm just going to leave that there for what it's going to look like, ideally. I had some more, but like I said, they're really easy to lose because they're so tiny. So what I did was, because I wanted a picture on the cover, I went to Creative Fabrica and I got this file called Black Feather on Aged Paper. And I printed, I'm not sure, was it 35, one, two, three, yeah, 35 by, sorry, 35 images on a sheet so then I did not measure this I just eyeballed and I roughly cut in between images here and I printed out the JPEG file so I ended up getting the title of the image so then I had to figure out, okay, what am I going to do about that? Because I don't really want the title of the image on here. So what I've been doing is just um, taking a Sharpie of some kind. This one might work. This is the one that leaked on me. Let's see how it does. So basically what I did was just make a line and cover that writing up there now it looks like part of the cover usually I use black to match the feather but you know shiny's not bad either so then I just cover or fold this in half. The stripe or whatever you call it is on the back. And if I was particular, which I'm not usually, I would just fill that in so that it kind of looks like the binding. And if I'm going to do that, then I may as well just do the edge too. Oops, and I went over, so now I have to do the front. Okay, and then I may as well do the gold gilding thing. That's kind of fun. Different. Oops. So there, it's uh, still bleeding apparently. Well, I may not use that one later, but I'm still going to finish it. Okay, so then I'm using some really thin paper because I think I'll get more. I'll get more sheets into this little booklet if I use a really thin paper. And actually, if you had tracing paper, that would probably do really well here, too. I'm just thinking how many... Yeah, that'll be fine. Hopefully. Because I want the inside paper to be smaller than the cover so fold 
that in half. And again, I'm not measuring. I am just going by eye here. You can measure it if you want, but, and you might get a better result. Like mine doesn't go all the way to the edge. But at the same time, I can get another sheet in there because it's so small. And I suppose I could have, now see if I did that into threes, then it would be too large, so. It just depends on how, what paper you start with and how you want to fold it, I suppose. My prototype I used with a different paper pad that had different measurements, so it actually worked out perfectly. thick for my staplers liking but let's see let's see what happens here. Hmm. stapler did not mind that at all so so there you go basically this is what we came up with or this is what we ended up with I don't know where Pam got the idea from probably just um, trying things out so then um, I think Pam also rounded the corners I should really do that before so yeah there's a teeny tiny little booklet and then all you have to do is and I didn't mention this in the first place, but the the length or the height of the book has to fit inside the paper clip that you're using. So this is a two inch. So yeah, you could actually write in this booklet. And then of course you probably want to make sure that you can still use your um, paper clip if it's too thick that might not be good either so I probably went a little thick on the pieces of paper and for some reason Depending, of course, how you insert it into the paper clip, you're going to have it facing a certain direction. So, so there's that. All right, so there's two of them. You can decide how many pieces of paper you want in there so then it's not too thick. But let's see what it looks like in our journal. 
I'll pick the one I made in the first place. It does not have as many sheets and it will attach from the right. So then, pick a plainer piece of paper here. Like so. And then too, you could still do something else with a paper clip, like maybe add a dangle on there or something. So, yeah. Thanks, Pam, again. And uh, this way you can take it off, but you can still write in it. And then you just slip it back on there when you're done. So I thought that was fun. And that's what I have for you today. Just repeating what I saw somebody else do. So thanks for joining me. And let me know if you give these a try. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.